Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards. All of that in a moment. But first, a war in Ukraine. CBS now reporting the death toll more than 130 as this high stakes military battle in Europe intensifies. Even here in Chicago, a small but symbolic showing outside the Ukrainian consulate in the Gold Coast neighborhood. Several bouquets of flowers placed there. Let's get right to CBS 2's Marissa Perlman monitoring developments from the newsroom. Marissa. Well, Brad, a lot happening here and abroad tonight. Ukraine's president just confirming Russian forces are advancing on key from the north and east, calling tonight make or break for the capital. And within the hour, Russia vetoed a U.N. resolution that called on Moscow to stop these attacks. Also tonight, the U.S. and E.U. announcing it will place sanctions directly on Russia's president. And for the first time ever, NATO says it's sending troops to allied countries neighboring Ukraine, citing collective security. Blasts shake the skyline in Kyiv, tension and fear mounting. Heavily armed Russian troops are heading towards the capital after heavy shelling and blasts were heard overnight. Ukrainian leaders, including the former Ukraine president, now encouraging those staying to take up arms and defend their country. We are standing in line for the weapons. We are standing in line to give our blood to the our uh, soldiers. The Biden administration now announcing it's moving forward with sanctions on Russia's president, Vladimir Putin. In alignment with the decision by our European allies, the United States will join them in sanctioning President Putin and Foreign Minister Lavrov and members of the Russian national security team. Всем добрый вечер. A video posted by Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky shows the president is in Kyiv. The president telling EU leaders on a late Thursday video chat, this may be the last time you see me alive. 100,000 people have fled the country and more desperately fight to get on trains to leave, even though many don't have tickets. It was chaos. It was chaos. It was a lot of people like pushing around. It was a, almost like a stampede. People were like trying to get inside. And we've confirmed tonight Ukraine is now asking Israel's prime minister to help mediate negotiations between Ukraine and Russia. We also know all U.S. senators will have a classified briefing on the Ukraine invasion on Monday. Exactly who will give that briefing has yet to be announced. Brad, Erica. Okay, I'll take it. Marissa, thank you. Now to a poignant look at the war through some photos. Here's a family fleeing the conflict in Ukraine, crossing the border into Poland. The UN estimates 100,000 have left already and an estimated 4 million could flee if fighting escalates. It's not just buildings and vehicles hit, people like this 60 year old woman now in a hospital in Ukraine were wounded during a rocket attack. Surreal scenes across Ukraine. Here you can see an army soldier inspecting fragments of a downed aircraft in Kyiv. The targets aren't just military and other strategic locations. This is a school in eastern Ukraine, heavily damaged by the Russian attack. We understand at least two people died there. 